I'm Jake Hamilton, live outside Grant Park. Lollapalooza kicks off in just a couple of hours. But you know, guys, with 170 acts spread out over eight different stages, there's absolutely no way that you can see everybody. So the person who knows who you should and maybe shouldn't be seeing, Lauren O'Neill, 101 WKQX. Lauren, good morning. How are you? Happy Lala Day. Happy Lala Day, Jake. How are you? I'm doing well. I wanted to talk with you about this. You know, there are always the one gets maybe discover some some diamonds in the rough. Maybe some bands you haven't heard of that end up being great. So tell me uh, when it comes to today on Thursday, who are some of the bands worth checking? Out? Well, first up, you've got to see Dayglow, uh, aka Sloan Struble. He takes the Lake Shore stage at 3.45. <clears throat> His song, Can I Call You Tonight, is the number one requested song on 101 WKQX right now. Then you've got Jimmy Eat World. I mean, these guys are legendary. They've been together for 28 years. Talk about a sing-along band. I mean, you know all these songs. The Middle, Sweetness, Bleed American, Lucky Denver Mint. Uh, that's going to be amazing. And then I think you should go see All Time Low. Walk right next door at 6 to the Tito stage. Um, these guys formed in high school 18 years ago, and in my opinion, are putting out some of the best music to date. Well, I know Friday is really when things kind of start ramping up, so tell us who we should be seeing Friday, and then you guys have a cool event happening on Friday as well I want to give a shout-out to with, uh, with a local band. I love Local H. That's true. Uh, uh, so start out early. Make sure you hydrate and get up early because you're not going to want to miss Black Pistol Fire at 2 o'clock on the Tito's stage. It's two dudes very similar to local age. Huge sound. It's a mix of Southern classic rock and garage punk. Totally awesome. Then you've got Grandson at 245 on the T-Mobile stage. In my opinion, the next generation, Zach De La Rocha from Rage Against the Machine and one of the sickest guitar players out. He went to 2018 Lala as a fan and now he's playing the big stage, kind of a Cinderella story. Uh, for rock <laughs> and then you've got white reaper taking the lakeshore stage at 545 if i had to put them in a genre i would think they invented their own of catchy sing-along garage rock then take yourself over to fremont right after the festival we have a free show with scott lucas of local h and let down 21 and up first come first serve uh, again it's at fremont I love that. I love people who know it. It's so great to hear you sort of list all these bands because I love people who know what they're talking about. And it's fantastic. Talk to me about Saturday. If by day three you're, you still have the energy, which I, I wouldn't, but you're dragging yourself here by day three, who are the musts on Saturday? It starts early again, 1 o'clock with Cannons. This is an incredible, like, luscious, dreamy indie pop trio who are also playing a free pop-up show at Reggie's tomorrow at 11 a.m. if you want to really get your day started early. Uh, Young the Giant starts on the T-Mobile stage at 445. Their lead singer, Samir, has one of the most incredible voices that I've ever heard. And if you don't think you know Young the Giant, once you hear songs, you'll go, oh, yeah, I know these guys. Yeah, um, then yeah. I love bands I like that. <laughs> if I had to pick a guilty pleasure band, it would be Limp Bizkit as a 90s kid growing up in Florida. I mean, there's nothing bigger than Limp Bizkit. So I feel like that's a screwed off to the side for them. And then Angels and Airwaves, it's Tom DeLonge of Blink-182's other band. It's Transcendent Alien Rock. I like that. All right. Well, they're giving me the wrap, so we didn't get to Sunday, but really quick, give people some information on where they can find you on social media because you're a great source to follow as we head into these, well, outside of Lollapalooza, but especially over the next four days. I, I would just follow you around this place and just listen to whoever you tell me to listen. So tell people where they can find more information from you uh, because you're a great source, uh, obviously an expert over these 170 acts that are going to be here. Thanks, Jake. Um, on Twitter, I'm at Lauren O'Neill and on Instagram at the Lauren O'Neill. I'll see you out in Grant Park this weekend. Love it. So, so, some people at Lala are, are the guiders and some people are the followers. I would be the follower and just listen to whatever Lauren tells me to listen to because she knows what she's talking about. Lauren O'Neill, cannot thank you enough for waking up early and joining me very early this morning. And I hope you have uh, a great Lala. I'll talk to you soon. Bye, Jake.